Good morning everyone, uh, Wednesday, um, I'm going off to do some shopping this morning uh, at uh, Aldi in Ashbourne. It's going to be a very very hot day today so I don't want to put too much makeup on um, thinking about it. Uh, so I thought I'd um, try a little bit of doing something different. Obviously I'm going to put my BFF on because of the SPF in it. So I'll just put that on. And then this afternoon I'm, I'm going to meet my best friend uh, Diane. So we're going to meet up in a local park and just have uh, an hour's walk obviously keeping our distance um, but it will be nice to see her uh, we go back a long long way and uh, always have looked out for each other she's actually Gavin's godmother um, so there are ties with our families as well and like me Diane's on her own so uh, we get a lot of comfort from each other. So I'm just going to put a bit more of that on, actually. I do want to make sure I don't burn or anything. So I spent a bit more time last night looking at the beauty pie still so confused um, it's knowing what to go for um, but I'll have another go later on obviously I've had my pie day offer which is the Jeju Jeju I don't know how you say it, um, mist so um, I think I'll probably will have that and see what that's all about um, but yeah, I'm uh, really not sure what else I should have. Now, what I've done this morning, um, I've got a little bit of um, my BFFI left in the bottom of this pot, Victoria. So I've actually mixed it with a little bit of my Just a Touch, um, as you'll see there. So I thought what I would do and see how it comes out is um, just use this mix as, as I would normally. But because I've put the just a touch in with it, I can probably spread it a little bit out without actually going down the route of uh, using my just a touch so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put it the areas where I would normally put my just a touch and I want to see if I can sort of get a glow going without putting another layer on so I don't know if it'll work or not but uh, it's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? Where shall I? Hmm. I'll perhaps just go along there. Purely for its uh, concealer properties. And just put a bit up there. And then what I'll do is um, get my brush and just take that out along. Gosh, it feels hot already. Uh, so I think it is definitely going to be a scorcher. I've got the 
fake tan out again on my legs because uh, I'm not going to put trousers on today. There. I think that's all right. And then what I thought I would do is um, take Genster and just put a touch of bronzer here and there. So using the bronzer brush, dab it off on the back. I'm still undecided whether to get the Soala um, I don't want to end up going too dark and it then looking like I've put fake tan on and it's gone wrong. <laughs> so, I think that's I think that's okay. Just pull it down my neck a bit. And what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm just going to put a little bit on my chest here because I have got a low neck in this dress which I'll show you just now. I think that's Looking all right, actually. When I look in the mirror, sometimes the uh, iPad doesn't give the same same results. So that's all of that. Gosh, my hands are feeling really hot. Um, just wipe them off a bit before I do something else. Um, so with my eyes, again, I don't want to. a lot of colour on. So I'll take this one off and try and so I'm going to put justice all over. I mentioned about um, the matte eyeshadows and uh, I, I have put wisdom on my wish list for my next order because I, I must admit sometimes I wish there were more of the lighter colours um, especially for summer daytime when you don't really want to go out with uh, dark makeup as such. So that's that. And then uh, I thought I'd just put, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> got a frog. Um, I thought I'd just put a touch of chalice. Um, I'll probably use the animal brush. And take this along the lash line and then buff it out just to give a little bit of uh, definition. Looks a bit messy at the minute, but uh, hopefully we can tidy that up, as Trini always says. Probably need 
to just bring it under the eye a bit. I'm definitely going to have to put some colour in my cheeks to lift this up. Um, oh, that's alright. to brighten that bit. just to brighten through a little bit And then just put a dab on the eyes just to bring it in. Um, someone pointed out to me today, uh, Claire, I'm sorry I can't remember the surname, um, she made me aware of a video that uh, Tr Trini did on another site um, where she, she did her eyebrows and she actually went that way, which is great if you've got really a load of hair. <laughs> Um, and as I pointed out, I, I haven't got any air, so I don't know if that would work for me, but um, I'll just... I 
I don't know. I think because I need to use the pencil to create hairline, I'm not sure that that's uh, the way forward for me. feels a little too thin and sparse. I don't know. I'm still putting the castor oil on. Um, I don't know. I can't honestly say that I'm seeing any difference, but uh, I will persevere. Okay. Not sure about that. A little bit of virtue on there to give it a bit of highlight. And just put a dab across the top of the cheeks. There have been some uh, great videos that the tribe are posting at the minute. A lot of uh, new to Trini and trying out their first makeups, and uh, they've been great, absolutely great. So uh, keep it up, ladies. This is 
next one. <laughs> reasonable <laughs> um, right I'm, I'm going to put cha cha on the lips and then put something on top Go with Mama on top uh, for that summery glow. So, oh, there's the makeup for today. Um, and we just put a little bit of just a uh, miracle glow on my chin. Uh, so not too heavy in terms of the layers um, the genster has given sort of a, a color to my face without going too much with the just a touch mixing that bit of just a touch with the remainder of my BFF eye um, I think has, has worked quite well and that way I won't waste any of it. So, um, pull them down, I'm going to put these on today. Okay, so outfit, Zara. Right, so I, first of all, this is the one that came yesterday. Um, very see-through actually um, I have tried it on and uh, it's lovely um, but I have to admit I tried it on the other way around um, because when I'd got it that way I just felt I, I just didn't feel comfortable there so I turned it round so that I got an opening and that that was better actually um it has got uh, an elasticated waist and the sleeves you can have three quarter length or push them up elbow length um but i think what it also needs is it, it does need a belt across the front 
Now I've only got sort of black, blue, whatever. Um, so I'm on the lookout for a cream belt, but it does need to be quite thick. I don't get on with pencil thin belts, so I need to uh, get a few additions to this and then it'll be lovely. But the colours are beautiful, as you can see. There's got the green in, um, almost a sea green at times. So, yeah, that's that one. As to what I'm wearing today, this was the other one that uh, I had from Zara. I'll take that off and show you in the mirror. So there you go. Um, quite low, low fronted, um, but that's okay because, as Trini says, I'm the only one that can look down there. Um, nobody will get certainly with the social distancing. Nobody's going to be peeping down there. Uh, <laughs> I'm just undecided as to what to put on my feet, um, whether it'll be my trainers or I've got. Let me let me just show you. I've got a pair of rope sort of um, platform, whatever you call it, wedge, that's the word I'm looking for. So I may put them on or I may put um, my trainers on. Uh, Archie's, actually Archie didn't have a good night. I think he was too hot. Um, so he's flat out now on the bed. Archie. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. So, um, he won't be going a walk today because it is going, as I say, it's given out to be really quite hot. Um, so the last thing he needs is to be out in the midday sun. Okay, ladies. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, I'll go and do my shopping and then I'll go and meet my friend later on. Um, as far as I know, everything's all right family-wise. I haven't heard any different, um, so I'm assuming that everything's okay. And uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, bye.